All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you here from the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. I am getting pumped up because for a lunch today, I am here eating a Creel burger. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Mike is uh, whipping up the lunch right now. Uh, the burger, a little bit of shrimp and some Creole sauce right on the top of that burger. I'm looking forward to uh, that burger uh, here today at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. By the way, don't forget, you need to come here on November 3rd to have a really, really great time. We're going to have a watch party on November 3rd. That's a Saturday. Syracuse, Wake Forest, college football, all the games. And then obviously we'll have the Breeders Cup on uh, as well. So you can come out, get $2 can specials. Everybody who's here, free cheese pizza. You get prizes and swag and all the rest for just coming as well. So make sure you come here to the Phoenix Sports Restaurant on November 3rd. The National League Championship Series is set. Uh, obviously, over in the AL, the Red Sox could close it out tonight in New York against the Yankees. But this National League Championship Series is, in my opinion, exactly how it should be. These two teams, the Brewers and Dodgers, I think are easily the best two teams in the National League. I want to start with Milwaukee. Milwaukee is so good right now. They're so balanced. They've won 11 straight games. You can't even remember the last time they lost. And remember, they were six games back in late August in the NL Central. <coughs> they end up making a huge charge. They tie with Chicago Cubs to end the season. They have to do the playoff game, um, you know, in terms of uh, who wins the Central. And the Brewers win that, and the Cubs lose uh, lose the wild card to, to Colorado after that. So um, this is just a, a very, very... Uh, sound mechanical team and you look at David Stearns one of the best general managers in Major League Baseball that bullpen is obviously where it starts and ends with the likes of Josh Hader and Corey Knable uh, and the rest of them uh, that's a very very good bullpen and you know they pick up Joaquin Soria of course uh, they picked up some guys in the offseason from a position player standpoint like Kristen Yelich and, of course, like Lorenzo Cain. They grabbed Mike Moustakas at the deadline. That move has already paid off, considering that he had a, a walk-off hit in the NLDS. And then you take the starting pitching. They're giving him enough. The total NLDS ERA was .90 from the Milwaukee Brewers in an absolute trumping of the Colorado Rockies. And uh, this is a very, very good team. This is a hot team. Craig Council should be given a ton of credit, too, as a manager of the Milwaukee Brewers. He's a very straight-laced, narrow, you know, see, see it and hit it type of guy. And when you look at Craig Council, you look at the makeup of the team, you look at the fact that they play all phases of the game tremendously well, starting pitching, bullpen, hitting, and all the rest. This team is a wagon right now. Uh, and I think when you look at this club going up against an L.A. Dodgers team, this Dodgers team, this is the third straight season that they're in the National League Championship Series. They have been so close. Last year they went seven games with the Houston Astros in the World Series. This team was close two years ago. Uh, they've spent over a billion dollars the last few years on payroll. Uh, they've got one star after another after another. They've got depth. They picked up Manny Machado at the trade deadline. We know what they've done uh, with other moves. Um, when you have Yasiel Puig, a guy who can potentially hit between 30 and 40 home runs a season, you can put him seventh or eighth in the order. What does that say about how good the Dodgers offense really is? And their bullpen, well, it's not what the Brewers is. You take a look at this, though, and you got to love the fact that Kenley Jansen is throwing very, very well again and is healthy. I think this series is going to be extremely close. Milwaukee has the home field advantage, which I think could play a factor into this thing. They will start uh, that thing at Miller Field, uh, Miller Park, rather. And I, I don't know. I, I've got a funny feeling about Milwaukee in this series. I'm picking the Dodgers because I picked the Dodgers at the beginning of the season to win the World Series. But if I could change my pick, I would probably switch it over to Milwaukee. I'm sticking with the Dodgers. I picked them to win the World Series in the beginning of the season. I kept that pick at the start of the postseason to beat the Cleveland Indians, which clearly that didn't work. I didn't pick Houston and go back to the World Series just for the fact that it's so darn hard to get back, but now they look like a complete juggernaut, maybe even better than last year as well. So when you take a look at this NLCS, it's going to possibly come down to the bullpens, and if that's the case, 
well, the bullpen for Milwaukee is better. Certainly Milwaukee has the hot hand right now. When you look at the way they've played, they've won 11 games in a row. There's a brimming confidence with this baseball team, is there not? I mean, when you watch them with a guy or two on base, they seem to just have the game slow down in front of them, hit the ball the other way, get a big base hit. Start the rally with something small, like a, a base hit and a steal. Um, the starting pitchers set the tone in the beginning of the game. And frankly, the LA Dodgers better hope that they can score in the first few innings because reality being reality, that Milwaukee bullpen coming in is gonna be a major, major problem. The Brewers only give you a little bit of a window. Uh, you know, it's, it's cracked open a little bit to, uh, to score. And if you can't do it, well, boy, you're, you're, you're up shit crick without a paddle because the Milwaukee Brewers absolutely positively throwing in monster, monster relievers. The kid Ken Abel and Hayter, they are absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, you add to that a, a repertoire of other guys who have just amazing off-speed stuff, and they just have such versatility right now. They have such depth. They have such confidence. But I picked the, the Dodgers to win the uh, the NLCS. I picked them to win the World Series at the beginning of the year. I will stick to that pick. Give me Los Angeles in six in this series. Uh, it's going to be a blast. I'm actually really looking forward to watching Milwaukee and the L.A. Dodgers. And, oh, by the way, a couple of side notes here with the Brewers. This team has not uh, had the World Series in Milwaukee uh, in over 30 years. So this is really something to watch here. This is part of what, um, you know, the wild card era was formed for with Bud Selig and company when he was commissioner of Major League Baseball to get all these other markets involved. AL wild card, NL wild card, one game showdown. Sometimes it can come down to the final day of the season or you need an extra day, which is what happened this year uh, on that Monday between the between the Brewers and the Cubs. Um, you know, you, you take a look at that and it's super exciting and, and, and you can't argue with revenue sharing and you can't argue with the AL wild card and NL wild card in terms of what it's done for baseball. You know, getting more fans involved in more markets and now we have Milwaukee in the NLCS. Now look, I know that these this uh, championship series won't have uh, a ton of ratings. It's not the NFL. It's not the NBA. I get that. But if you're a baseball fan, this is really going to be fun. This is where it's at. When you look at how complete the, the Brewers are, led by the X Factor, which is the bullpen, and then you look at the talent-rich Dodgers. Plenty of talent on Milwaukee, too, but let's be honest. There's more talent on the Dodgers and more superstars on the Dodgers. That doesn't necessarily always translate to wins, but this Dodger team... I mean, they've been playing the numbers game, right? They've been getting back and getting back and getting back. They've been in the NLCS now. This is the third straight year. Got to get back to the World Series, play the numbers game. You know what? If they go to the World Series and win it this year, you know, they lost it last year, so you're one and two. Well, you play the numbers game, and you finally get your first World Series win since 1988. I'm Mike Lindsley. Nine minutes with me, IGTV, YouTube, and Facebook. Make sure you get me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports, and uh, hit me on Snapchat and Instagram, Mike L Sports 1979 I am here at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. I'm getting ready for my Creole burger. Make sure you get here for lunch, for dinner. They've got the all-you-can-eat boneless wings, all-you-can-eat spaghetti, all-you-can-eat steak specials, um, and you can get some awesome draft beers and, and beers in the bottle as well. And we'll be here November 3rd. Get here. The place is going to be packed. We're going to do a ton of giveaways. You get something just for coming in the door. All you can eat uh, cheese pizza as well that day. And $2 can specials with me and the ML Sports Platter here from the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.